English opening, four knights, kingside fianchetto line, four, g6 5 dot d4. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black pounced on their opportunities in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Both players had a nice end game. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. e5 controls the d4 and f4 squares, and allows the queen and dark squared bishop to develop. The battle for the e4 square is launched by nc3 by attacking the d5 position. nc6 controls the d4 square and aids the e5 pawn. nf3 controls the d4 square, advances the knight toward the center, and engages the e5 piece in combat. nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e4 and d5 squares. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g2, where it will take up residence on the long diagonal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. This exchange is fair. Takes back. This threatens to pin a knight. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. Games Master It is the final book action. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is excellent. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. This threatens to kick a knight. It is a great move. Thus, a knight is lost. It is incorrect. That gets you a knight. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a bishop. It is a mistake. Recaptures. It is ideal. A knight is therefore exposed to being captured. It is incorrect. This takes down a knight who is helpless. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This misses a chance to seize a free pawn. That falls flat. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This is winning stuff. That's good. This misses a fantastic but elusive move. It is incorrect. That rook earns material if it is captured. It is ideal. Thus, a bishop is won. That's good. This ignores an opportunity to pin an attacker of a vulnerable queen. It is an inaccuracy. That bishop was free. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a queen threat. It is incorrect. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. 
it is ideal. This enables the adversary can grab an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This moves the rook to safety. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It is quite good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to retreat away. It is ideal. This ignores a better way to move a bishop to safety. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to threaten a bishop and gain tempo. It is incorrect. This removes the attacking queen. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. It's alright. That's good. That pawn was available for free. That's good. This misses a better way to move a bishop to safety. This permits the opponent to pin a knight to the king. It is an inaccuracy. This is a missed chance to attach a knight to the monarch. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It is ideal. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. There was just one smart move to be made. That falls flat. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it? It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a bishop. It is ideal. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to take an outpost with a bishop. It is a great move. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a bishop. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. 
This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black pounced on their opportunities in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Both players had a nice end game. 